It's Brett here, and after doing a slow dive lesson, I got a few requests to do another one for Allison. And that sounded fun, because I'm a big fan of theirs, and I didn't know how to play it. Um, it's a pretty easy song. I looked up the chord chart on Ultimate Guitar, and I think it's right. I don't know how they're actually playing it, but like how they would do it as a band. But um, I'll play the simple way, and then I'll show some other ways I figured out. So. The chord, the first chord is A major 7. So it's like an A major, 0, 2, 2, 2. With 0 on top, but you change the second fret from A to G sharp. It's like a little triangle shape. So it's... And the strum pattern is down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then you go from A. And with A chord, it doesn't matter if you hit the bass too much, but I usually put my thumb there to mute it. Like, it's not going to sound terrible if you accidentally hit it, but... I put it there, so if I do, it's not a big deal. And then you want to go to B major, which is 2, 4, 4, 4, and 2 on top. I do a bar, and I, with the tip of this finger, I mute the E. And you just do as this is the verse. Oops. I don't know the lyrics, but I know the melody. And then the chorus goes E major, zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. times da da then you go to a D chord. Zero, two, three, two. Ba, 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 da, da, da. And then you go back to E. Da, B. Da, 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 a. And then there's like just this kind of like da, just down E. So that last bit is it goes E, A, E, A. At the end, there's a little solo, and then I'm going to show some other ways you could play this that are more interpretations. At the very end, there's like a little thing that goes like... Guitars, but that sounds like if you're playing by yourself, you're not you're not gonna be able to have the chords in that. So the notes are something like and the chords in the background are E and A, like down. Play that 
that together, you can go. to seven, which is actually an E. E, F sharp. You slide to A5, because we have E again. For some reason, that sounds like a Yola Tango song. I don't know which one, but. Uh, okay, so then that's like the basic way you can play it, and it sounds good. Another thing I think sounds good is you could just, like when I was first messing around with it, I was, I think it sounds good with these chords, like where you leave the open E on top. And you can do like, this is an A major bar chord. You can leave the top open. And you can use your thumb here. has a more open quality and then you could even leave the top two strings open. That sounds kind of cool for the verse. And then uh, so that's one thing you can do for the verse instead of being down here but in the background of the song you hear like these notes like So that's why as a band, like one person might just be playing those two notes, I don't know. But another way that sounds pretty accurate is you could go. practice that but that would sound cool and then one other way I need to play along to do and then because I don't know exactly what I'm doing let's see it's more when the lyrics come in I'd be like
kind of cool. So, hopefully I was playing okay there, I was kind of listening. But anyway, what I'm doing there is adding in like melody notes to the chords. So that would be another angle to start to go and especially if you're like not going to sing it, you just want to play. Uh, so like, like on the chorus you could do it more like. doing is like E major and reaching to G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, E, 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 D sharp, B. So the melody is like and uh, reaching to that note with E is kind of hard. If you hold the whole thing down, one trick is you can put your middle finger here on E and then mute like right here. And then you go to A. And for A with D sharp, you just. And it's like, it goes from D sharp to B. So like. So I do the B on the up strum as I switch back to E. So when you're playing by yourself and you're figuring songs like this out, it's kind of cool to do like a mix. Like, so you could start out like. In the first part, you could do like. singing if you practice it. This sounds pretty accurate. So you could do that or you could just strum the chord. It sounds good too. But um, it's kind of the best I can do. Like there might be some more that could be done with that but a lot of it's kind of like sort of a ambient synthesizer or something. Uh, but that's a good one. That's one of my favorites by them. So it was fun to figure out. And uh, if anyone has any questions, let me know. OK.